Hello, hello, hello. Um, we're going to talk today about converting power units. So if you've got uh, some electronics at home, they probably talk about the power of a light bulb or a stereo in terms of watts. But if you've got a car, for some reason they use mechanical horsepower. Why are these two different units? We're going to get into that. Okay, first off, um, watts are named after Mr. James Watt. He was an early inventor, and he invented horsepower. The reason why is he's building machines to power equipment. You know, this is the Industrial Revolution. He wants to tell how powerful these things are, but he needs a term that people would understand. Well, back then, people understood horses. A lot of people had horses. So he decided to put it in terms of horsepower. And he had to spend a lot of time figuring out just how powerful a horse is. And one thing he discovered is that horses are not standard. There are Clydesdales, and there are ponies, and a whole mess of horses in between. So he ended up just settling with 550 foot-pounds um, foot pounds, um, per second. So um, at one horsepower, you could lift 550 pounds one foot in a second, or you could lift one foot, one pound, 550 feet in a second. Same amount of power was needed. Uh, now, by the way, that you said there was one horsepower. He knew that if he um, said a machine was 50 horsepower, he would exceed expectations. And the reason why is, you know, it does the work of, you know, 50 horses, but he also had an advantage that the, the horses would get tired, a horse's power would drop. A horse, you'd have to stop the machine to get the horses off and put new horses in. That was time while, you know, the steam power machine kept running. Um, so he knew that probably he'd actually, you know, a 50 horsepower machine would probably end up doing the work of 150 horses, but he said 50 horsepower because that was the power. Um, later on, we have a metric unit for watts. You know, that's going to be kind of confusing and difficult with math. With watts, it's very simple. It's one joule per second, where one joule is one um, newton meter per second. So if you want to think about it, um, this is the way it's about newton. If I lift it up one meter in one second, that is about one watt of power. Whereas one horsepower would be like me lifting myself up. Um, on the table, well, I mean, I'm less than I'm less than 550 pounds, but the table is more than two feet, so that would be roughly one horsepower. There's a big difference between this and me getting up on the table, so you can get a sense of how big the difference is. But let's do some actual math here. So one horsepower is equal to 745 .7 watts. So if you take my car, my first car was 212 horsepower. I don't know what the heck I was thinking with that. Um, so I would multiply that by 400 and se um, 745.7 and I would get a number of 158,088 watts. Now that's more sig figs than I have a right to say here. Uh, that's kind of an un you, one thing you notice is that watts are kind of an unpractical unit for measuring power. So just like we wouldn't measure the distance to Las Vegas in meters, we don't really measure the power of a car in watts. We often use kilowatts, and it's just a simple thing. You know, if you're going from what, you know, something to kilo, just divide by a thousand, move three places, and you get 158 kilowatts. So a kilowatt is a little bigger than a horsepower, which is why it takes a little less kilowatts um, by the way, if you want to know how to switch the other way, one kilowatt is equal to 1.342 horsepower. So you can see the kilowatt is a little bigger than a horsepower. I haven't tried to buy a car in Europe, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're putting them in, in metric now. Um, my new car is 80,000. There's is 80 kilowatts, but that's my new car, it's electric. Anyway, um, I hope this was helpful in converting watts to horsepower.